Sure. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. I am with David Clayton from Clemson University, which is where I used to teach, so that was very exciting. And you have a car that I heard was designed by your master's students, is that correct? That's right. Yeah, this is the vehicle. Deep Orange program at Clemson University. <laughs> so uh, it's run out of the CU iCar campus. I'm the director of yeah, CU iCar in Greenville. Greenville. That's right, yeah, that's yeah, right. Cool. Yeah, so the vehicle is, is our 11th version of this. It's Deep Orange 11. Okay. Um, the focus is on sustainability by design. So the vehicle from its initial conception all the way through the prototype manufacturing process was around you know, the end of life use and recyclability right. of the components. Okay. So the students had to basically start with the end in mind. <laughs> okay, right? so the idea is to be, have recyclability in mind. So. Exactly, okay. and, and not only that, but the, the material used for the vehicle. Okay. So 80% of the body is recycled, primarily carbon fiber. That's cool. Um, so the, the, the partner in this was Exxon Mobil Chemicals. Okay. Um, so that makes sense where it, the plastics yeah, and their yeah, interests yeah, yeah, come yeah. together with, it, yeah. with the mobility. Um, so some of the interesting concepts okay. Number are, one, uh, I noticed yeah. that there's no you know steering wheel or, oh, or accelerator, so yeah. Yeah, okay. that's right. <laughs> yep. So it's, in fact, uh, I'd say like four or five of the last cars we've done have been autonomous, right? And so part of the challenge is building that autonomy software and the hardware to work okay. together. And so you do that from scratch, like all of it? The, the yeah, I mean, the autonomy yeah. stack is something that we have developed with partners that's over the excellent. years. Wow. Yeah, so we tend to build you know year after year on that right. that software stack um now we work with partners though right so not every line of code is written by clemson yeah no, but it's no, pulling that's, the pieces really together cool, yeah. yeah what a great um, experience so they're not only building the hardware but the software as yeah, well so, exactly yeah. and so Excellent. there's a team of about 30 students that'll work on a project like this and they okay. they self-organize you have a autonomy team, you have a powertrain, right. materials, the structures. Okay. Um, yeah, so walk me through. I mean, I can see that, you know, there's a little flexibility in the design because some of those seats are currently up yeah, and you can exactly. put them down, so yeah. Exactly, yeah. Right. So beyond sustainability, it was intended for share, care, and deliver, right? Okay. And so the idea is shared mobility within an urban environment. Okay. Um, you know, care, so you have the wheelchair ramp, you can do, you know, healthcare type applications or folks with accessibility challenges right. can get in the car, and then delivery. So okay. packages, you know, delivery with on a college campus or with an urban environment. Right. Um, the powertrain, it's, it's an EV, but it actually has an internal combustion engine to recharge that battery okay. to extend the range. Gotcha. Um, okay. Part of the reason that's needed is this battery is a little bit of a novel technology. It's a, it's a lithium titanate battery. Wow. So there's 300 cells. You know, on the floorboard. So what's the, okay, so the lithium, everybody knows. What's the titanate? Is that just the in the anode? Or? Yeah, right. So it's okay. it's the metal, right? So yeah. It's rather um, exactly okay. <laughs> in yeah. the anode. Um, cool. The uh, but what that does is it allows it to be charged much faster. Okay. So you go from a zero to eighty percent charge in under ten minutes. No way, really. As That's opposed amazing. to right. A yeah, half I mean, an I have hour, a Tesla, and it takes a lot longer exactly. than that to charge it. So exactly. yeah. Wow. So that's that's part of the innovation is the application of the, now they didn't invent the batteries, but using them in right, a technology right, right, right. like this. Okay. Okay. Um, the trade-off is energy density. Okay. So the range is about 100 miles rather than okay. 350. Is it, is it kind of more designed as like a city type car or is it? Yeah, okay. exactly. So okay. 35, 40 miles an hour, right. okay. point to point. Yeah. And so in that application, the lower energy density, the shorter range doesn't yeah. matter as much because it can run a route and then and especially if it can charge quickly because exactly. it's just like yeah so okay. it's part of the use okay. case um and and i see there's a sensor suite at least some of those i see cameras kind of sticking out the edges yeah yeah there, so, you've got, so yeah. you've got i think three cameras two lidars okay. and that's sort of what how, are the how lidars the um the little bubbles that are sticking off the edge there, yeah or? exactly that's okay. sort of envisioned behind there is lidars for the gotcha. for the the test runs, we took that off. We couldn't get the glass to quite go around. Gotcha. Anyway, okay. So it's a sort of a yeah, people forget off. about the fact that you know this is complicated to build this stuff. Incredibly, you know, curved. Everything's curved here. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. That's right. A lot of a lot of complicated shapes going on. Yeah. So it's a student project, right? So there's there's uh, there's glass uh, all around the car, and the moonroof is completely transparent with the. Uh, okay. Um, okay. One of the interesting things, if you take if you take if you go inside, sure, is the uh, is the the hub I love and these node doors, structure. by the way. The fact that they're just so wide open. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. But yeah, um, so yeah. Oh, so you look can. At that. that is super cool. So these are carbon fiber protrusions with wow. um, 3D printed metal nodes. Gotcha. So there's actually an adhesive that ties this entire vehicle together. <laughs> um, so you can imagine this, the challenge in fixing that 
in position right. one time because you only have one chance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and and, the and right it's way. very, very rigid after you get done. So exactly. the shoe's structurally. There's no, yeah. okay. there's no redo on those. Yeah, so. exactly. So really yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, and so about how many kilowatt hours of the battery is the battery? Oh, you'll have to find somebody else. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> I was just curious. My head. But I'm assuming it's in the floor it's, area. Yeah, it's in the battery. Yeah. Actually, okay. the battery tub is hanging on the wall right over here. Oh, cool. So you okay. get a sense of what that yeah. looks like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we go. I can like, zoom in from a there distance and show it. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So there we have the battery. That's actually awesome. And then... Yeah. Um, and that, the battery tub is made of... Uh, recycled carbon fiber as well, which okay. is a, a okay. really great um, innovation because you need that rigidity, right? The safety to, to protect the battery, prevent fires, right. but you also want to make it lightweight. So it's a great trade-off there. That, that and then, so I, I heard something about this has air suspension. Is that correct? Or uh, I'm not too familiar with the suspension. On <laughs> okay, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was just curious because I heard one of the other people said that. Yeah. She said it could kind of like <laughs> kneel or something like oh, that. Oh, so right. Yeah, right. So anyway, but really, really cool. So. All right, so student project, obviously. What do the students do after they graduate, you know? <laughs> oh, they get yeah. this experience, yeah, yeah. like where, what kind of companies do they work for? No, I appreciate do? you asking. Um, you know, a lot of them do find jobs in the in the local area. So we have okay. BMW, Michelin, Bosch, yeah. all and in. BMW was one of the founding members of ICAR, right? That's exactly yeah. right, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, and JTECT, Koyo is, is also on our campus. Right. Okay. Beyond that, you know, the, company, uh, the students find jobs all over the world. Gotcha. So in fact, a couple of the the alumni here present with us today are working with uh, Canoe, with Stellantis, yeah. we have many with Ford, uh, Honda was a partner on this and they've hired okay. many of our students okay. as well. That's so. yeah. yeah, that's really great. I mean, this is, obviously it's very difficult. You said which generation is this? It's, this is number 11. So yeah. Yeah, okay. we're building More number. More or less the same design over and over again or? No, oh, vastly okay. different. Okay. Right? okay. So the Indy car over there was number 12. Oh. Yeah. So that's yours also. Well, that was <laughs> that was a production version of the car that our students built the prototype for. Really? So that's it's a self-driving Indy wow. car. And so uh, yeah, so so they're doing everything. This is like, like you said, this is more of a mobility type of environment uh, solution. But all the way from that up to race cars. Race cars so, yeah. and number uh, Deep Orange 13 and 14 are both with U.S. Army. Wow. So they are okay. so they're um, more military type vehicles. Or? Yeah, not military applications, sort of search and rescue. Oh, okay, but they are okay. tracked vehicles, okay. multi-ton. You know. <laughs> oh my gosh! What yeah, a great yeah. range of experience. So, so this, how long is the program for the students approximately? It's a two-year program. Two-year program. So in two years, like, do they work on one vehicle or do they get to work on two usually? No, they, they'll just have one, one, one vehicle. Okay. Yeah. Working. Okay. And is that a per class thing? Like you kind of, the, this year, the class comes in and does? Exactly. Wow, so yeah. that's what they do. That's the two-year project yeah. is build a so car. They get, they get to experience the, the teamwork, the project right. management, all the, the, the soft skills, which are yeah, actually the hardest yeah, yeah. skills. Are you guys working on kind of an agile type of uh, format where it's doing sprints and all of that kind of Absolutely. work? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. They follow the V, v method, you know, yeah. of kind yeah, of from yeah. systems level down to component and then verification back up the other wow. side of the V. So, that's just, um, that's but it really is a systems integration type project, yeah. so understanding how a vehicle is designed and engineered from the from the ground up. Yeah. Wow, well that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for you know, showing me around this. Of course, My Go pleasure. Tigers. Yeah. Even, though, Go Tigers. even though being at UGA now, I'm not supposed to say that, but still, <laughs> I, they have a special place in my heart. So well, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. uh, th awesome, so thank you today. so much, Absolutely. and have a great CES. All right, you All right. too. Bye-bye.